Moss Point hosted Special Olympics athletes today for the Area 12 track and field. It's a qualifying event for the state games. Destiny Pulser takes us to the competition that's about more than just winning. Athletes from the Jackson County Exceptional School, St. Martin, East Central, and Moss Point High paraded through Jerry Alexander Stadium in Moss Point ready to compete. Dozens of athletes and hundreds of volunteers brought the games to life. It's, um, you know, it's, it's so exciting. You know, we just uh, finished celebrating prom. So you know how you feel when you go to your first prom, all excited and giddy. This, yeah, it, it feels just like that. Anita Means is Gregory Means' mom. He is a Special Olympics gold medalist and also the event's first Moss Point ambassador. It's, it, it, it's a great feeling. It is. By, by me not being as athletic as Gregory, it's a great feeling to know he has the potential to do what he's doing. Do I have a coach? Train me too good. Yep. Working diligently working, with him every day. Working every day. Athletes competed in the 25 and 50 meter walk and run, javelin and softball throwing. Shelby Rogers earned her gold medals at the 2022 USA Games in Orlando playing bocce ball. This is her return from an off year. But then last year I wasn't able to do nothing with Special Olympics because I got diagnosed with cancer. So. This is my first time back. Rogers, now in remission, says she is grateful to be competing again. Oh, man, it's, it's so much to tell. It's just amazing, and I have all these nice friends, and I just appreciate everything that they do, and I have family, and I just amazed. It's just hard to say it all. Heather Boyd has been in Special Olympics most of her life. I have been doing Special Olympics since I was eight years old, and I'll be 37 in May, so pretty long. She didn't compete this time around, but came to cheer on her friends, collecting medals and making memories. In Moss Point, Destiny Polster, WLOX News Now. A lot of smiles there. Athletes say they're looking forward to the summer games hosted at Keesler Air Force Base.